What is going on guys, Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I'd like to do a best class setup for the PP-19 Bison. Now this is a submachine gun that I don't see a lot of people using. Most everyone uses the MP5 or the MP7. But this gun is very good and kind of holds its own in my opinion. Now it does not feel like it kills as quickly as those other two weapons. But I still think that it competes with those other two submachine guns. Especially at range. This thing has a lot of bullets and you can do a lot of spraying with the gun because it has so much ammo. And you can stay pretty accurate on target with this particular setup here. The first thing we're going to run, of course, is the compensator, which is going to give us some recoil control, but cons of ADS speed and aiming stability. This weapon does have some recoil to it, and if you're running the iron sights like I am here in this build, the iron sights are not awful, but they're not perfect either. So you will lose some of your targets at range with that recoil, so I like to use this compensator to kind of calm that recoil down. Now, I like to run the 8.7 polygonal barrel, which gives you damage range and bullet velocity. Of course, the con is ADS speed. Now, for a long time, I was running the steel barrel, which is damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. But I could not tell any difference with the recoil of this weapon with this barrel on it. I'm not sure if the recoil control is kind of bugged and it's not working correctly, or if it's so minimal you just cannot see it. For a long time, I was just running that and no compensator, so I was running it like this right here. And in my opinion, the recoil control is 100 times better with a compensator and the 8.7 polygonal barrel. So to make up for some of this slowdown in ADS, we're gonna go with the TAC laser as our next attachment. This gives you aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and aim walking steadiness. Of course, the con to this is the laser is visible to enemies. Now, of course, I'm running the skeleton stock, the Corvus skeleton stock. If you can have, if you have the option to have a skeleton stock on any of the weapons in game, it is always great to run because it always has three pros: aim, aim walking, movement speed, uh, movement speed, and aim down sight speed. Here on the PP19, and of course, aiming stability is the con. So we're making up for for the aim kind of slowdown with these two attachments, with the tac laser and the Corvus skeleton stock. And last but not least, we're going to speed it up even more with the stippled grip tape. It's going to give us aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and the con of aiming stability. Now, overall, in my opinion, this gun needs to be, if you're going to run it without a silencer, you need to be able to you know, lock on the targets very quickly. Because some of the other guns in the game will kill you a bit faster, in my opinion, like the MP5 and the MP7. Um, the MP7, because of its fire rate, the MP5, of course, it has that three-shot kill range. But the thing about this gun that I really like is once you get all this, these attachments on it, the recoil is kind of calmed down. You can snap on the targets very quickly with this setup and beat people very quickly as well. Also, something else you can run, of course, is the 84-round mag. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that because this gun has enough ammo as it is, but I have tried it, and it is pretty enjoyable. If you just want something, you can just pretty much be a bullet hose and just spray bullets for a long time before you have to reload. Now, the next class setup I like to go with, and out of both of these, the one that I just showed you is probably my personal favorite, the one I use the most. But this one is also very viable. But something about the monolithic suppressor on this certain setup does not feel right to me. Most of the time, I love the monolithic suppressor, which gives you sound suppression and damage range. Of course, that ADS sight speed and aim walking movement speed is going to be a bit slower. And this class in general is going to be a bit slower, as you can see there on the mobility bar. But something about with the monolithic suppressor on the gun this is, does not feel like it kills as well to me as, as the previous class with just the compensator. Of course, we're going to go with the 8.7 polygonal barrel again, which is damage range, bullet velocity, and aim down sight speed con. We're going to go with the GI mini reflex this time, which is a precision, precision sight picture, of course, aim down sight speed con. We're going to try to speed some of this back up with the Corvus custom stock, which is aim walk movement speed. Uh, of course, movement speed and aim down sight speed. Of course, we're going to lose a little bit of aiming stability. And last but not least, I go with the rubberized grip tape. I don't have the, the, the benefit of running that compensator this time, so I'm going to go with the rubberized grip tape, which is going to give us recoil control and aiming stability. You could run the granulated grip tape if you wanted a little bit more control over the weapon, but I prefer this to, to kind of get rid of that, um, to get rid of that recoil. Of course, to me, it does not seem like it gets rid of, as rid of as much of the recoil as the compensator does. I'll get it out here in a second, guys. Um, but with the sight and no iron sights, this seems to help. You know, it, it helps enough to me to control the recoil. Like I said, I don't mind this class. It is a bit slower. It's kind of designed if you want to be a little bit sneaky, but also play a little bit of a medium range instead of being right up on people with a sub. 
that way, you know, you can still have a good clear sight with with the optic. You know, you're able to pick off targets a little bit further than you normally would. And of course, like I said, you do have some recoil control with the rubberized grip tape. My only issue with this class, like I said, is I just do not feel like it kills as well as the first class we talked about. This class here seems to be the best out of the two so far. I, I'm still kind of experimenting with a gun, but we'll kind of find out and, and see later on if I can find some other things that might work a little bit better. If I do, I will bring you a video letting you know that. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts about the PP-19 Bison. Let me know how far you've made it so far in the Battle Pass. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.